Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We're doing a quick little tutorial because y'all know I am the queen of slick bags. I'm talking about the queen of slick bags. So I'm gonna show y'all how I got this hairstyle in less than 20 minutes. Yes, less than 20 minutes. You know, y'all tired of the hey boo tags. Y'all tired of all of that. Trust me, I know. I know, it's time for you to learn how to do something by yourself so we're just gonna go through a quick tutorial of my quick i want to look cute i want to get bad bitch but i don't want to spend a lot of money and i ain't got time for no appointment so i'm gonna show y'all how i get by how john i said quick and easy <laughs> ponytail on clean hair so let's get into it all right y'all let's get into this ponytail this is freshly washed air dried hair um and this is what we're working on i'm not straightening my hair we're leaving it how it is and we're going to slick it back so let's go over some of the products that you will need to accomplish this hairstyle first things first i'm doing mine on damp hair so i'm going to get a spray bottle if my hair is a little bit damp it slicks down a lot better um so you need a spray bottle with some water in it um Eco Styler Gel. I prefer the purple one, but old trusty dusty Eco Styler Gel. My favorite edge control, which is the True Edge by Tai Chi. Tai Chi? Yeah, this is the one that I have. Um, I also got Light of Body Foam because of the bundle that I bought. You may not need this depending upon what hair you buy, but I got a curly bundle. You'll need your, let me clean the hair out. <laughs> You'll need a dimming brush. You'll need a dimming brush, edge brush, hair, a comb, rat tail comb preferably. Y'all know, you'll need a hard bristle brush, some scissors, and a regular soft brush to kind of slick it down. Of course, you'll need some hair ties. No rubber bands. I don't believe in rubber bands. I use the hair ties that do not have, it's just hair everywhere. I use the hair tie. I use the hair. I use the hair ties that don't have the metal uh, strips on them and the longer ones so I can twist it a couple more extra times. And then my bundle, I grabbed the, uh, organic Hawaiian curl in a length 18. Um, you can put heat in this hair. I'm not, it's more on the synthetic side of me. I'm not doing that. So that's why I got the mousse. And this is the curl pattern of that bundle. Um, you can probably already tell I wore it already. This is the curl pattern. You can do this style with any bundle. If you want to use real ones, use real ones, but I'm not. And then you'll need some trusty dusty bobby pins. When I tell y'all this is a quick and easy hairstyle, it's quick and easy. I could sew this ponytail in, not doing that, or I could glue it, not doing that. I need something that I can rip it off at the end of the night, put it back in a Ziploc bag, and go lay down. It is a cheap bundle because it's a cheap bundle. You don't want to do a whole bunch of sleeping in it. Well, I don't. And then I don't like my hair being pulled back in a ponytail while I'm asleep. It can get uncomfortable, especially if it's tight. So. That's a no. So that's literally all you need. So let's get into the video. <laughs> um, so just so we can get how quick this hairstyle actually goes for the girlies that, you know, just want to do something a little bit different to their hair where they tired of it. But wants to look presentable when they go out, this is going to be a quick hairstyle for y'all to do. So it is currently... Y'all see it? How they do it? Can y'all see it? It is currently 2.27. We'll check the time when we come back, but let's get into the steps. So first, we're going to go ahead with our water and dampen our hair. Not too much because I don't want my hair soaking wet, but we want to dampen it. And if you got thick hair like me, get it in roots so your ponytail lay flat.
I'm talking about quick, y'all. And ain't nobody tell me in my uh, reel that my part was crooked. I don't know why it's so hard for me to get my middle part straight. I think my head is crooked. Does everybody have that issue? Just me? Okay, cool. I just put oil in my hair. Why would I put water in? Stupid. But we just gonna dampen it. Let's take these off so we can see good. Dampen it. She was already um, detangled, so I thought. But she's been in a braid. If I don't have to blow dry my hair, I won't. So after I washed my hair, I kind of just let her air dry, detangled her, and so forth. Part is cricket. So let's get this part straight. I'm gonna start with all my hair brush back. Ooh, part. This is supposed to work, but this don't work for me. Cause I can see that went crooked. You see, you see what I'm talking about? Let me just do it direct. Okay. This part, the parting part of this is the hardest thing for me to do. Cause I'm starting to think that my head is crooked. Like be for real. Let me sit up and do it like this. Hold on. What is it with middle parts? And let me get my part together. I'll be back. Did y'all ever get picked on about y'all Eddie? I did. And I used to shave it off all the time. <laughs> until I got into college. And was just like. F all y'all that's talking about my Eddie. Because it make your part look creaky. Like, girl, move. See? You see? We might have to do that as a swoop, baby, because she pissed me off. If I had an Eddie, my, my part's still creaky. <sighs> Hella creaky. That's as good as it's gonna get. So I like the thoroughly, <laughs> thoroughly calm with a dim and brush it to make sure I got it slick. Y'all see how crooked my part look? <laughs> what in the hell? Child, the hardest part is slicking the, uh, getting the dag on part straight. If it ain't straight at this point, oh well. And you, I think my head cricket because you don't notice the part cricking until I do this and smooth it back. Now y'all see where my part at? We leaving it. So then we go in with our edge control. I wish YouTube would let you play music. And we gonna lather that bad boy in, okay? And I don't mind my natural hair being curly because the ponytail is curly. So be it's more realistic. But if my ponytail was straight, then I would for sure um, straighten my hair. But we trying to do protective styles, as they say, right? Comb this through. And I got thick hair. And I know there's people out there have thicker than mine. So I can slick mine down, you can slick yours down. It just take a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. Okay, some stuff y'all should be able to do at home. And a ponytail is one of those things. You ain't gotta know how to sew, you ain't gotta know how to do none of that, you hear me? See that? Slick, baby. Slick. The water helps and make sure you spray the roots so it loosens the roots a little bit so when it's time to put the gel and brush it through it'll lay down a lot smoother so if you're ever doing a slick bag on damp hair aim for the roots not even so much the ends the roots okay the roots are the, 
key to it all. If you like me and your hair get puffy at the roots first, aim for the roots, okay? So now I'm gonna go back in and do another layer of gel here. Just slather it on. Slather. Slather, slather, slather. And get them BDBs in the back. Go in with my brush and do a super slick, the hard brush. You do a super slick. And you don't have to have your ponytail holder in super tight. Just enough for you to get this shape of your ponytail in. And make sure the player is going in directions that you want it to. And we smoothing it down, smoothing it down as we go. Okay. So you got you a sleek ponytail. If you want to go in with your brush, uh, the soft brush, get your fly away. Just to make sure. So this is what we have so far. My part is still crooked, but whatever. Whatever, whatever. So we're here. Now that we got that laid, lie, dyed, and laid to the side, we're going to go in with our ponytail holders. And oh, skip the step. Brush up. I really want to leave. No, we're going to brush them up. Brush up that kitchen. Brush up the kitchen. So it's sleek. Brush up the kitchen. We're going to go in with our hair bows. I wish I had some a little bit tighter because these are a little too loose. So I'm going to just fold mine in half. And it's not super tight, so that's good. And I'm going to do one more, just because I like my ponytails to be tight, y'all. Probably not a good thing, but I just feel more comfortable when they tight. Please don't break this, bro. But not super, super tight. Just a little bit of tight. Do the infamous pull. And you got your sleek pony. The pony is sleek. Y'all see it? Sleek pony, right? And then, we're going to take our edge control. I forgot two other things that y'all need, but we'll talk about it in a minute. Excuse me. I take my edge control. I bought a new edge control brush, but I don't know where it is. And I'm going to go through this kitchen and really smooth that down like really smooth the kitchen down to make sure you don't have any flyaways in the back okay smooth that down and then i go through the perimeters of my hair as well and we're going to pull out my side pieces but we just gonna go ahead and slick out the side pieces. Lay it up and out. Slick this all the way back. Sometimes you need an edge brush to get the flyaways a little bit better than you would with like a regular brush. Cause it's a smaller brush, so you can kind of get in there like this. Let's comb that back. <laughs> And swoop this back in. We don't need all of that. Just a little. I forgot a main ingredient, y'all. Let me show y'all in just a sec. This part too. Smooth her down, okay? You want her to be as sleek as possible. Smooth her down. However you want to do it, smooth it down, okay? So we got our ponytail in place. She slipped back. 
Next step. Two other ingredients you need that I totally forgot. Got to be edge wraps. Edge wraps. You need these so you can let your hair marinate a little bit. So I'm going to go through. Now that I have this slick. Hit one of those. Soft brush. And slowly comb, not comb, but brush over that first layer <laughs> of got to be. Should I stay out? First layer of got to be. Go on back there now, hair. If you want me to go back there. For some reason, this always creases for me. And you can use your blow dryer. I use mine at the end, but we're going to take an edge wrap. Oh, them bitty bees poking out again. You can even take some edge control, though. Got to be to your bitty bees, too, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to just spray. Y'all, this brush is gone, okay? That's why we bought another one. Every time we go to the beauty supply, I buy another one. And I'm just going to got to be... I would just um, press them and do like a little curl in the back. But since it's not, it's no need to do that. <laughs> so we're going to tack them up in this ponytail real good. Okay. So we're going to pin this up really quick. Not too much. Just put it in a little ball so we can put our edge wrap on. The first one I'm going to do is from the back to the front for the BBs. Okay. Back to the front. Just tie it. Then I'll do another one. Right over top of that works for me I'm just sharing how I do my slick bags on a regular and if I'm attaching here do I do one more across that okay okay as we let that marinate I'm gonna go ahead and plait my real hair just a regular old plait And just put a little rubber band on it. I do a small elastic rubber band. And I'm going to show you why. You need something to hold the end of your ponytail. Because you need it to attach your ponytail. Small little black rubber band. My wall is so fucking thin. I shouldn't hear your conversation. So that mean they be hearing me. Every time I get on here and talk to y'all, they be hearing me. Especially when I'm in my bathroom. Oh yeah. So we got our little ponytail in with the um, rubber band at the bottom. We're gonna take a little bundle here. Oop, the other one bites the dust. I'm gonna take our bundle here. Um, the last time I did, I kept the tracks doubled. Um, so basically you'll just unravel your bundle. I already had this one, but that's why you need the scissors to cut like the little strings and things off of it. Or if you want to cut your ponytail to be a little bit shorter, it's not like perfume. You can do so. So what I do is, you know, when you open your bundles, you got the two sides that don't connect and then you got the sides that do connect, right? Pay attention. Okay. You're going to take the side that's already connected together. Take you a close. Hold on. Close face bobby pin. You're going to stick the bobby pin directly in the middle of the track. 
just like that all the way down then you're going to take your bobby pin to the back of your braid and you're going to stick it through the rubber band can you see it stick it through the rubber band and then you're going to start wrapping you're going to wrap and it's how much you skip depends on you know how long your hair is if you have longer hair i do suggest to probably open it up a little mm, excuse me but i wrap a few times take another closed bobby pin and stick it right here you're attaching the bobby pin to the braid hopefully y'all can see that and we keep wrapping and you just want to do you don't have to do a whole bunch of bobby pins but you just want to do enough so you know if your hair ponytail gets stuck in the elevator it won't just immediately slide out so i always wrap three times then bobby pin track push down i always push down okay not up because then you'll be able to see the bobby pins sticking through okay so i'm going to turn to the back and show you guys me wrapping Number three, my hand. We'll keep on wrapping. You're going to keep wrapping all the way to the top. When you get closer to the end, be sure to leave out some so you can actually wrap your ponytail. So I'm going to wrap one more time. We're going to come over and this side. That's the end. We're going to take a good little piece. She a little tangled. But that's what we got the mousse for. That's what happens when you get cheap hair. We're going to take this little piece and we're going to detangle her. See? Wasn't too bad to detangle. That's why we have mousse. So you can put the body back into it. But this is the end of the track. So we're going to got to be glue comes in here. I like to pre-spray my piece a little bit. Hit it with one of these. And then I'm going to wrap under. Yeah, wrap under. And you want to make sure you keep this piece as flat as possible. So when you're wrapping over the braid, you get like the perfect wrap around. So you can still use your comb, smooth it. Wrap. Keep that piece as straight as possible. See that? And then spray. Hopefully y'all can see. Smooth it. The got to be glue is like your glue when you wrap. Back around. See y'all keeping it straight. And then you get to the end and just smooth it. 
Smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. And I always spray the end, the other end again. The end, end. And smooth. And then you want to blow dry it. So you want to blow dry on medium or low heat. And just keep twirling it around like this as you blow dry. So you make sure that it's stuck. So let's blow dry it. through this next and then put some mousse in it to bring the body back into it okay so the ponytail is a little wonky but since we put the bobby pins and things in it we're gonna try to comb it out as best as possible but not too much because we don't want to yank it we'll yank it out just we'll get the the you know the naps out <laughs> To make sure because if you, you just gotta be careful because it's not sewn in, it's not glued on. So you want to make sure you don't do too too much to it. And you could use the scissors for this too, like if you want it to be uh a little bit shorter, then you could do that. But now we're gonna take a lot of body moves and get the curls back in it. Just run it through and scratch. Run it through and scratch. Run it through. Hmm. Well, this to be a little ten dollar bundle. She do what she need to do. You hear me? And as it dries, it'll probably get back more fluffy, but we wanted to make sure we got them naps out of there. See, and now I can just run my hands through it. For $10, she do what needs to be done, okay? Now, we got her curls back in. She looking like a little something, right? There we go. So now we have our ponytail in. I am going to spray down my hair again. And I always like to spray the top of our strip and then blow dry. And I'm gonna let this marinate. Oh, I definitely forgot to come back and show y'all that it's 2.59, three o'clock. So it took 40 minutes. And that's because I had to start and stop. And I'm talking to you all. And I was checking my emails, but it goes a lot quicker than that. So I'll be back when I do my makeup and everything. I'm gonna clean the counter off and we'll come back and check in when it's time to get glam. And I'm gonna lay another scarf on top to make sure she's really pressed down. So I'll be back. <laughs> Why am 